welcome back to the tutorials. Um, I just want to show you something quick before I go to sleep. Um, what we're going to do is build on the triggers because I think we're doing quite well there and introduce a couple of functions. Um, one is a distance function and another is a speed function. So we're going to plonk ourselves down, not a plane. A player. Call ourselves John. There we go. Gonna place, gonna place a chopper down. And what we want to happen as soon as the speed goes above, call it 100 miles an hour, we want, we want the fuel to run out. Fuel runs out. The engine stops. Starts going down. So we'll call it chopper one. That's it. And we'll set up trigger. It doesn't matter where you place the trigger when you're giving it a specific condition, because we're not wanting his blue four around, we're just using it to check whether something so the condition here instead of this we're gonna call it um, speed chopper one and this is in kilometers an hour which is the number that you see in the game it's not miles or knots it's kilometers an hour Ch speed of chopper one is greater than 100 so that's the condition on action set fuel I can see that I've done it wrong. Chopper one, set fuel zero. One is maximum and zero is minimum. So just bear that in mind. Okay, and that will mean any unsuspecting pilot that gets in that is in for a surprise. Then we're going to have. another vehicle here, empty, we'll give it, we'll give it that fighter play. Now if you place one of these on any mission, I can guarantee that on the mission start, you'll get every nub running towards it. And so what we'll do, is set up another trigger. And the condition is um, John distance, and we need to give it a name. Sorry about that. I'm tired. Let's call it Nub Trap. There you go. Triggers. Condition. So if John distance nub trap is less than 20, which is meters, any distance is meters, you can go point like that, it's very precise. On activation, we want the nub trap, which is the name we've given the plane to blow up, so nub trap set damage and again it's between zero and one. Zero is no damage and one is destroyed. As far as I'm aware there's no way to damage particular parts like if you just want the window to be damaged or just the wheels. I don't think there is a way to do that. So these triggers can be anywhere so if you've got a really big complicated mission I usually like to stick them out in the sea. So let's see what happens. Preview. There's the plane. So yeah. Uh, 
that's that works. Now you can use player in the name, so instead of having John you could have player and that means, you know, whoever is the guy. But the reason you're using the name John is you might have somebody else who's a pilot and you don't want it to blow up if the pilot goes near. It just opens up the possibilities. Now this should run out of fuel once we... I think it was a hundred miles an hour. Just speed it up a bit. Using the plus and minus keys to speed up doesn't work in multiplayer but when you're testing stuff out. Okay, so let's go. Check out the smoke. 